Hey what's up guys and girls, welcome again to Savage Gaming and another tutorial video in Submortica and today I'm going to show you guys where to find the floating islands or the underwater islands that float around and uh, are very cool to look at. So let's show you guys how to do it. So I'm sitting in my observatory just staring at some coral, watching coral grow because that's what you do in this game. But uh, let's go and have a quick squiz. So I'm going to climb down here quickly. Let's go. So what are we going to need, guys? What are we going to need? We are going to need a Seamoth. We are going to need at least a Mark 1 pressure compensator. And uh, let me just repair this baby. It's got a, had a bit of a ding. I don't like dents in the Savage Moth. And let's jump in. Yeah, that's it. All systems online. Thank you, thank you. All systems online. Great. So, there is our life pod. I think the Aurora is somewhere around here. Oh no! God! Where did the Aurora go? Eh? Oh. Ha! There's the Aurora. There's a the life pod. So, what we're going to want to do, I'll go to the life pod a little bit more. We're going to want to go to where it says Blood and Floaters. So, that's basically where it starts. So just over a kilometer from your base and uh, just down the road. For those of you that already have your Seamoth, I don't suggest going in there or going to this place without anything less. So let's go to it. So the floating islands, uh, there's some resources to find there, some cool resources. Um, I think there's some wrecks there as well, so you can find some cool stuff over there. But uh, the blood kelp I think is probably the scariest area that you can go into for me in this game. <laughs> uh, the music and the darkness and uh, it just looks spooky and alieny. So let's go here. So basically you're going to go through this red grass area. You're going to get to a sort of mountain ridge here. This is very similar to, well, it's identical to my uh, blood kelp forest video. But uh, I think I'll do a separate one for those of you that are searching specifically for one thing like the floating islands, the underwater islands, whichever you want to call them, and let's go in. So once we get through this little valley here, we will find a huge drop off, probably some bone sharks, they are going to pop out of here, they are pretty scary things, but your seamoth is quite durable, and then here we go here. So around about 230 meters you're going to find these islands. Lots of bone sharks, lots of little glowing jelly things that are holding these islands up. But uh, yeah, you're going to find these islands pretty easily. And then uh, you, can, you can explore them. I am however reluctant because uh, I'm not too afraid with this area, I must be honest. I've been here before, but yeah, I've you know, been in creative mode and that as well, but there we go, and now you can find a nice little wreck there, so once you've gone through that crevice and you spot the islands, you're going to find a nice big wreck here to explore. So I would suggest guys, bring your laser cutter with, because that is going to get you some serious loot I reckon in there, that looks like a decent little wreck. Um, and that's it guys, there's your floating islands and uh, what they look like and where to find them. Uh, they're not deep, they're actually quite shallow. Uh, I think if you want to go a bit lower down, you're going to need to um, you're going to need a pressure compensator, and also you're going to have to be pretty brave with all these bone sharks around here. So, yeah, that's it, guys. I think uh, for this video, it's served its purpose. It's shown you what you need to see, and uh, I hope it, you liked the video, and I hope it helped you a lot. If it did, please leave a like. Uh, if uh, you want to see some more content, please subscribe as it helps me a lot. And once again, as usual, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.